Hi everyone, welcome to Jensen DIY. Well, I hope you're ready to save some money because I've got four plumbing tips for you that are gonna save you a service call. You can do this easily yourself. Very easy plumbing fixes, very common plumbing fixes around the home. And I'm gonna show you how to fix all of them right now. Okay, so let's have a look. Number one's a running toilet. Number two, a slow bathtub drain. Number three, a slow basin drain. And number four, a slow kitchen sink drain. One of the most common service calls is a running toilet. Okay, you can see how the water here is coming up above and going down this pipe right here. This is the flush valve, okay? This is the fill valve. When that water is too high in the tank, it overflows down the flush valve. You want this water to be a half an inch to an inch below the top of this, okay? It's not supposed to be flowing into that, okay? So a very simple adjustment. Right here, you've got a Phillips or you can just use your fingers. You just wanna turn this a couple of turns counterclockwise. Just like that, it stopped. Now we need to go a little further because we want it to be a good half an inch below that. Okay, and now we can give it a part test flush. We'll see where that's gonna stop. And there you go, we're just over half an inch below and that has fixed the running toilet. Maybe your tub drain's draining slowly. This is a lift and turn. You lift it, turn it to drain the tub, turn it to put it down, okay? A lot of times this is, gets hair in here, okay? But it's hard to get this out, right? It just keeps wanting to spin. Well, there's a trick to that. Just lift halfway up and turn counterclockwise and that grabs. And then you can just spin and out it pops. And you just clean the hair out of here. Usually it's just built up right here, right in the drain. And then you just put this back and that gets it started again. And there you go. Very easy to unclog the tub drain. Usually it is just hair below that plug. Draining away slowly. So down underneath is your pop-up mechanism. So this is the lever here that you pull on. Just like that, okay? So right here is where that block, we wanna take a container of some sort and put it down under here because when we undo this, water's gonna come out of there. Sometimes you can get this by hand or use a pair of channel lock pliers. We're just gonna undo this and try and get this so it doesn't make a mess. Some shop towels ready. Just gonna undo that. Let that water come out of there just gonna drain out what's in the sink. So make sure you have a big enough container to hold that water. Pull that out of there, grab that, and there you go. That's hair on there blocking this. Right where that lever went through to activate this up and down, that hair goes down there and it, it can't get by and it gets caught all around. So all you wanna do is clean that off and then when you put it back in, you line up that hole. Some of these are gonna look different than others, but. It's, you know, the same principle. There's a hole in the stopper here. So you wanna have that facing towards the back. Place that back down in and put that back through. Do this up, hand tight. If you feel like you need to use your pliers to do it up, then give it a little snug, but you should be able to just do it up hand tight. You don't wanna do it too tight. So that's nice there. If you do this up too tight, this becomes very hard to move. Pull that plug, turn your water on, turn that off, and then we want to just and see how it goes. That's draining away much better than it did before. A lot better. Just take a screwdriver, you poke through each of these holes. This food debris gets caught in that basket strainer right below. You take your hot water in. Take a paper towel and try and get any of this food waste out. Plug in, fill your sink with hot water. And then once you fill the sink up, just pull that plug. And that will help wash any of that debris you knocked loose down the drain. Yeah, that's draining a lot better than get any food debris out of there. It's the most common spot for a slow draining sink, just below in the basket strainer. Some easy fixes for you. I hope they helped you. I have lots of other plumbing videos if you're interested. If the video helped you out, please hit that subscribe button and like the video. Thanks again for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.